guys, it's Danny, and today we're going to talk about how to download and install the Cosmos ICC color profile. So you can get this one of two ways. It either comes as an email to you when you've purchased the ink, or you can get it by going to the group page. So as you can see, this is the Sublimation Cove by, hosted by Cosmos Ink page, and we are going to go to Files. Right, now after we get to files, we're going to scroll down here to where we see the Cosmos Inc. file right here, and we're going to click on it. When that loads, Angelo has provided instructions on exactly how to do this on both a Windows right here and a Mac. This is where the profile is going to go. Now, as he stresses here, this is not a file you can open. You won't be able to open it, see colors, anything like that. It's, you just won't be able to do it. It's a file that your computer reads, that your printer reads, but it's not a file that you can actually view. Now, this file is something that you can use on a design software, like he says, Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Affinity, Designer Affinity Photo, anything that supports internal color management or internal profiles. Silhouette and Design Space from Cricut do not support that. They can't internally manage colors because they are not design software for printing. Yes, you can print and cut, but they're mainly for cutting vinyl. So that's why this is not going to be the best way to use this profile. Okay, so you're going to scroll all the way down here and you're going to click on it. When you click on it, it's going to download it. So you see we're downloading right now. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to click over here to my downloads folder and it's going to be here. Like I said, don't try to open this. You're not going to be able to open this file. So after that, to place this file somewhere, I'm just going to walk you through because I already have it there, but you're going to go to Local Disk, Windows, scroll down here to System32, scroll again to Spool drivers, color, and this is where you would place the profile. The best way to do this is to have two windows open. You do this in one window, you have your downloads open in a separate window, and then you can just drag and drop the profile in it like I have. You see, this is where you put any ICC profile. So I have a few different from a few different companies. This is also once you've downloaded the Epson drivers, this is where all of the color profiles are stored for the Epson drivers as well. So this is just like a storing place. Now I do have another video about Photoshop and how you can use the profile in Photoshop and convert it over, convert your image over so that you can get the best color results. But this video is just about how to download it and where to put it. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you guys in another video. Have a good one.